My name is Byron Goodman, and I'm a graduate of Miracle Lake from 2006. Um, prior of coming to Miracle Lake, I struggled with Oxycontins, um, crack cocaine, heroin. I did a lot of things I didn't think I'd ever do, and but I ended up doing it and tried many treatment centers prior of coming to Miracle Lake. And treatment was what I was getting was treatment, recovery, 12 steps. And I know they meant well, but um, I'd always get out of treatment and go back to the same environment, um, trying to do it on my own without any kind of spirituality, nothing about God, and ended up relapsing. And I've tried treatment centers. I went to five treatment centers. I've done two outpatients. Uh, my dad hired a therapist. Um, I've tried IOP. I've tried everything that the world had to offer, and I was serious about my recovery, um, but I didn't have the strength within me to overcome my addiction. And then once, once I came to Miracle Lake in September the 7th, 2006, I entered the grounds here. I was a broken man. I was uh, very frail. I was really underweight. Um, I was living underneath the bridge prior to coming. But when I came here and I met Jack Bryan in class, it was my first week, and he was talking about salvation, who Jesus Christ truly is. And um, I desired a relationship with God. I desired a relationship with Jesus, but I didn't know how to enter in a relationship. But my first week, I was in class. I was emotional. Uh, I was thinking about everything that I've done to my family, my daughter, my um, friends. I had no home. I had no car. I didn't know where I was going to live. But... There was a moment there in class, I thought about salvation. I thought about who God really is and being clothed and finally and walking on the streets of God. I knew if I entered in a relationship with him, I would have a home once I died. So that actually brought me joy. And uh, in class, I asked Jack and said, how do you get saved? How do you, how do you have an encounter with God? How do you get the Holy Spirit into your life? And I raised my hand and Jack stopped class. And I went up in front of all my classmates and I knelt down and Jack said, do you believe that Jesus is the son of God? Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins? Do you believe that Jesus resurrected the third day, you know, the plan of salvation? And I was crying and I said, yeah, I do. I want, I want to have this relationship with him. And salvation happened to me. That is who has changed my life. 12 years of success, uh, meeting Jesus Christ and this program. And it's not the certificate. It's not the Miracle Lake name that I'm here to tell you about. I'm here to tell you about Jesus Christ. He's the one that can truly turn your life around and give you hope and give you strength over your addiction. Uh, but Miracle Lake, it does offer the seclusion, the, the solitude, confinement, the peaceful atmosphere, no phones, no distractions. It helps you focus in on who he is and what he can do for your life. Um, so I graduated Miracle Lake November 4th, 2006. Uh, stayed on in phase two. We have an extended stay here at Miracle Lake where you can stay on as a graduate, learn more about the Lord and your recovery and, and structure. And in April of the following year, 2007, I stayed here six months as a student. And then April the 1st, 2007, I got offered a job as a houseman. And then that's when Jack said, I'd like for you to help me out. You've been here a long time, Byron. You seem very serious. And I see you being sincere about your Bible studies and you know, and salvation, and I know you care about it, helping other people. So April 1st, 2007, I became the house man. Um, started watching over the men, making sure they're up in the mornings, making sure they're back in their rooms at night. Uh, then I went from the house man to student affairs, from student affairs to the project manager for a little while. I kind of did all the roles of, of the positions here at Miracle Lake, but I got offered another job as I kept going up the ladder, I guess, not by my strength, but by God's strength working through me. I'm the administrator now of Miracle Lake. So not only do I get to share my story, I get to give back to a ministry that gave me life. You know, Miracle Lake gave me life. 